from College Mission Leaders. Today we are joined by Marco De Novelli, Assistant Vice Chancellor for Undergraduate Admissions at Rutgers University. Welcome, Marco. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brendan. Very glad to be here today. Great. Well, I want to start by giving you uh, an opportunity to give your elevator pitch and why students should consider Rutgers. Absolutely. So, uh, so Rutgers University in New Brunswick, you know, the eighth oldest institution in the U.S. Um, and the flagship public institution in the state of New Jersey. When you think of Rutgers, it's that big time, big college experience where students who really look to say, I want to try everything, have that opportunity. There is no resource, no program, no opportunity you couldn't find at Rutgers. Not only are we that big, amazing university with, you know, um, so many different majors to choose from, amazing faculty, amazing research, big time sports, unbelievable student affairs and career service opportunities. But we're also located in the heart of New Jersey, just 45 minutes from New York City and just over an hour from Philadelphia. So every opportunity, every employer, every internship you could ever want to have you have those opportunities at Rutgers. So it's a place for students who say, I want to try it all. I want to make the absolute most of my college experience and get involved in as many things as possible. That's what we have to offer for you at Rutgers. And that's why it's such an amazing place to be. That's great. A, uh, a college, a university smorgasbord. Exactly. <laughs> um, well, let's, uh, let's dig in and get into the lightning round of questions. And I want to begin with uh, one unique program offered at Rutgers? Sure. So, um, you know, as I thought about this, you know, we have over 100 different majors, so there's so many different things you can go to study. Uh, for me, um, it's our animal science program. Now, we have pre-veterinary programs, but as part of that, we also have an equine science track. Uh, and so, if you're a student who loves horses, not only do we have them on campus, we actually have a horse mad, a horse, or um, a horse uh, mounted uh, police force as well on our Cook campus. Um, but we also uh, have our equine science center, which has two horse treadmills. And Brendan, if you've never seen a horse run on a treadmill, it's one of the most amazing things you will ever see. Google it to see a video of it. Um, but really, they study on these treadmills how the horses run, how their muscles move, all the mechanics. As we know, horses, you know, especially as they get older, can have a lot of problems with their legs and their motion. Whether well, they're studying that, how to help horses, how to really help them recover from injuries and really focus on that as part of the studies. Uh, so to me, um, if you're someone who loves horses and really is into that, I mean, that is a unique, exciting major for someone who has that type of passion. What I want to see is the horse elliptical. <laughs> no, they, you know, they haven't, they keep working on that. It's only a prototype. They haven't gotten there yet, right? but they'll get there one day, I'm sure. All right. Well, um, how about one fun tradition at your institution? Sure. So, um, you know, many traditions, you know, we, you know, you know, being such an old institution, uh, for me, it's uh, what we call the bed races. Uh, so every year, uh, the night before homecoming, students get to take a, a, a bed from a, a dormitory. And as a team, they get to decorate it, you know, put it however they want. And down the main strip on the college, which is known as College Avenue, um, we block off the entire street and students line the sides, you know, fans to watch and students basically race each other, racing their beds down the College Avenue street. Um, the students will put on different costumes, you know, as they're doing this as well. So not only are the beds decorated, but the students are. And it's really just like, you know, four students racing a bed against four other students racing a bed right down the, the main strip on College Avenue. Um, there's trophies for the winner and just an amazing crowd. Literally thousands of students come out to participate and to watch this. Um, it's one of our best traditions and it's all part of the homecoming um, festivities. So the next day then it's the homecoming football game and all the different stuff that goes on that. So many alumni coming back, back to campus. But for me, that start of it that night before, you know, all as you see this, everything's starting to get set up and as they block off the road and then the students start to come and you're like, when you hear about it, you're like, what do you mean you're racing bed? <laughs> well, we're literally having students run down the road with a bed at versus for other students. So it's a really exciting thing. That's great. That's great. Um, well, let's um, let's kind of uh, zoom out a bit. And, um, you know, just looking at kind of admission and enrollment management in general, what should students know about affordability and access? Sure. So um, at Rutgers, we actually just announced just a couple of weeks ago the Scarlet Guarantee. Uh, so this is something so Rutgers, you know, as a public institution, you know, especially for our students here in New Jersey, we like to keep our tuition costs rather low. For families who adjust, whose adjusted gross income is below $100,000, um, we now have what's called the Scarlet Guarantee. And there's different tiers to this, but basically, if your family's adju adjusted gross income is below $65,000, we will fully cover 
all costs, and again, it's last dollar in here, so after any you know federal grants or anything like that, but we'll cover all costs for tuition and mandatory fees. So this means your mandatory fees and your tuition is covered either by grants or by Rutgers, and that does not mean you're getting loans for that. that no, no, this does not include loans. Um, so grants from either the state, the federal government, or from Rutgers will cover your, your full tuition and fees uh, as part of that if your adjusted gross income is $65,000 or less. If it's 65,000 to 80,000, then you would uh, at most pay $3,000 out of pocket per year. And if it's 80,000 to 100,000, you pay at most 5,000 out of pocket uh, for the year for tuition and fees. So this is really Rutgers, you know, wanting to say for our, especially our low income students, we get it, you know, college and, and your education has become um, more expensive, uh, but we're putting our money where our mouth is to really say, we are the state university of New Jersey. We need to take care of our students in the state. Um, and that's what the SCAR guarantee is really focused on is access to those students uh, so that they can come to Rutgers, get a great education and really transform their lives. So that's really what we're looking for with the SCAR guarantee. In addition to that, you know, obviously we have other programs, you know, like EUF and other opportunities uh, as well uh, and merit scholarships. Uh, but the SCAR guarantee, uh, Brendan, is something that we're really excited about. And that starts for the first time this fall. That's great. That's great. And, and a pretty impressive program for a, a school your size. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, it, it, to be as big as Rutgers is to offer it is something that we're truly excited about. Yeah. Well, thank you. All right. Last question. What is the best question a student should ask on a campus tour and what would be your answer for Rutgers? It's a, it's a great, uh, a great question. So um, when, when I talk to students and families, you know, and, and I've been on so many panels over the years, it comes up all the time, you know, you know what, what, what do you do on a tour? Uh, to me, you know, I try to get, you know, the student, I look, the student in the eye, I try to get the parents to, 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 to give a little space. I say to the student, you know, when you're on these campus tours, wherever you are, take a moment, pause, and think to yourself one thing. Do I feel at home on this campus? And if you feel at home there, that's where you want to go. I don't care what it's ranked. I don't care what's located. Cost certainly comes into play with families. And, and, and you know, obviously you have to worry about that a little bit there. Um, but to be successful, you need to feel comfortable. Uh, people sometimes forget that and get so caught up in, in these other things about rankings and, and where their friends are. If you feel comfortable, you feel good. If every day you wake up feeling like the environment you're in is a good one, it sets you up to be successful. So you want to take that time on that tour and to ask yourself, hey, do I feel at home here? This is where I feel at home. And if you do, that's where I want you to go. And for me, I, I will say from my experience, um, you know, when I was looking at colleges, you know, and I am a Rutgers graduate, I toured colleges and I was very thankful. You know, my sister actually was a Rutgers graduate as well. She had told me the kind of same thing. She's like, you know, she said to me, Marco, you know, Rutgers is really big. You know, you gotta make sure it's right for you. So you gotta ask yourself that question. And I think that's something that stuck with me all these years. And I try to get students to do that uh, all the time to think about, is this place I feel comfortable? And if you do that, and say yes to that school, I think you're going to be very happy with what you choose. That's great advice. That's great advice. Thank you. Well, that is the wisdom. Now it is time for the gear. Yes, got to do this. Uh, got to do the gear. Reach into our swag bag and see what you have for us here. Awesome. Awesome. Let's All see right. what we pull out here. So, All right. We have. Oh, yes. This is a custom design Rutgers version. You got to love this one, Brennan. Okay. Oh, the Rutgers Rubik's Cube. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm well, not please gonna, don't. If, if you mess it up, I can't help you, Brendan. I'm not good at those things, <laughs> but neither. someone's good at those. So me neither. Um, and let's see. We got the Rutgers pop socket. Yes, every, every kid's got to have the pop socket. So common these days. Everyone likes to hold on to their phone. So yeah. And the keyboard dots. Yes, oh, the, yeah. the R and the U are actually perfectly placed They're in the same row in the right order, just two layers apart. So when you put them on your keyboard, it really does make it look like a Rutgers keyboard. There you go, and you'll never forget. Oh, and this this is good. This is this is like none other we've had. Yes, the Scarlet Knight, Sir Henry himself, the Scarlet Knight bobblehead. Um, yeah, wonderful. custom design. You know, cannot be bought in stores. Uh, but yeah, really cool, Brendan. And I hope to see that on your desk because it is a pretty awesome thing. Well, I would love to keep it on my desk, but uh, Rutgers has uh, been kind enough to donate uh, all this gear to an organization promoting college access and equity. So we are, we are grateful for that. Um, Marco, thanks so much for the, for the gear and for the wisdom. And we'll see you next time on the College Guidance Network. Sounds great. Thank you so much, Brendan. And everyone have a great day.